This video presents the performance of the navigation system developed for mobile ground robots in nonlinear and autonomous systems laboratory for autonomous power recovery project. Previously, we were able to perform path planning and obstacle avoidance in unknown and unstructured environments using infrared sensors on small ground robots from national instruments. In this work, we improved the performance of the navigation system, used laser rangefinders for sensing the environment, and deployed the code on larger ground robots from ClearPath. Our test scenario involves two power loads and two ground robots that are referred to as power source robot and cabling robot. The objective of this robotic mission is to route the electrical power from the power source robot to the power load by establishing electrical connections and using cabling mechanism. In the current development stage of the project, the electrical connections and cabling mechanism are not incorporated into the system. When robots reach their connection establishment location, a delay of few seconds represents the action of making the connection, which will be added to the system in future developments. At the start of the mission, the power source robot navigates to the first power load and establishes an electrical connection. Also, the cabling robot navigates to the second power load and establishes another electrical connection. In the next step, the cabling robot moves away from the second power load and extends the electrical connection using the cabling mechanism installed on the robot. This robot then moves to the power source robot and makes the final electrical connection. At this point, one of the power loads is directly connected to the power source robot and the other load is connected through a cable and mission is concluded. In our next test, we change the arrangement of power loads and introduce an intersection point into path of robots to evaluate their behavior when faced with a more challenging situation. The rest of the mission scenario is completely similar to the previous test. Finally, we try another environment configuration in which robots have to avoid head-on collision. This work has been developed in nonlinear and autonomous systems laboratory by Barzin Moridian and Nathan Bayers under supervision of Dr. Nino Mamudia.